The February 2011 earthquake, a disaster for Canterbury, hundreds of buildings wrecked, many of them cultural institutions housing important collections. The suburb of Wigram escaped the worst damage and at the Air Force Museum of New Zealand they had room to look after the artefacts. Collections were housed in shipping containers and hangars at the museum but later moved into their brand new extension in a space that was to become known as the Canterbury Cultural Collections Recovery Centre. There's no sort of precedence elsewhere anywhere in the world that we know of where a recovery centre of this kind has been set up post such a major um, disaster. Near the epicentre of the quake, the Littleton Museum had housed the history of the harbour area since 1968. The old building had no chance and is now history itself, but a new museum is planned and the collection is safe and sound. The Wigram team had helped us rescue our collection out of our building which had been red stickered so having got it from the building in a very daring rescue and into some shipping containers out here um, it was then quite an extraordinary thing to us that they had managed to source funding to set up shelving and space for us for three and then six years um, of storage. Museum Studies graduate Moya Sheriff was appointed as the Recovery Centre Administrator in July 2013. For the next two and a half years, she was kept busy coordinating the diverse groups who occupied the space. We had art galleries, we had um, smaller museums um, who had lots of social history collections. We also had very specific kind of collections, um, you know, rugby, just a massive span of Canterbury's history was all within that building. The Christchurch Art Gallery was the Civil Defence Headquarters, but then itself had to be evacuated for repairs. Our building was undergoing um, extensive repairs um, and so we'd lost uh, all our storage areas, we were very limited in where we could um, store large items, so we really needed uh, a big secure space. The significance of some of the rescued items was only discovered after the move. Among the items from the Nurses Memorial Chapel at Christchurch Hospital, a fresh account of the torpedoing of the transport ship Marquette in World War I. Ten nurses died as a result, most from the South Island. I remember this um, occasion one Saturday morning when I was opening a box and I found a diary and it was really old and tatty and it dirty and the front page had a mark or had 23rd of October 1915 on it and so I turned to that page and that was a diary of someone who survived the Marquette sinking. The Kaiapoi group had three different homes before going to Wigram. It was only by the time we got it to Wigram that it allows, allowed us to do all the conservation work. Um, all of the photos that you see here, for example, were totally disassembled, um, some reglazed, um, most of them the glass cleaned on both sides. So the Wigram museum allowed us their space and that's been absolutely invaluable for getting the whole thing organised. They're now back, permanently re-established at a new museum in their hometown. The Canterbury Rugby Union's collection of jerseys, programmes and photographs was stored in a container at Rugby Park. It's been a tremendous uh, boon to us because really uh, we were a gang of amateurs uh, collecting items, didn't know what we were going to do next. Uh, out here at Wigram they have taught us how to catalogue them and identify them, who gave it to us uh, and uh, all that sort of thing and uh, we have started to get now a authentic collection. In all, 38 different groups used the space. I don't think anyone realised before the earthquake just how important these collections were, but I think they certainly understand that now. Most of the collections have now moved into their new homes, safe and sound and with a new lease of life, thanks to the Recovery Centre and the Air Force Museum at Wigram and its staff.